What's up everybody, Passion here. I hope you are having a great day. Uh, today we're going to change it up a little bit. Last couple videos we've been talking about sculpting on action figures, but today I am talking about doing my little boy's room. Um, he, ever since day one, he was always a big car kid, robots, anything that went fast and blew up, he loved it. Um, so in 2013, we moved from Louisiana to Texas and um, we were looking to do something in his room. Well, um, I didn't want to do anything kiddish because he was coming up to an age where I wanted something cool for his teen years. So we kind of talked about it and we came up with a little theme here. So, so here we go. All right. So this is his dresser right here. Just a normal wooden dresser um, from there. Um, he picked out these colors. He liked the charcoal, the black, the bright orange. Um, he told me he wanted to do something kind of robot-ish, transformer-ish. So what we did was, I said, well, let's start making holes in the wall and pretend that there was robot parts in the wall or something like that. He's like, let's do it. So, so here's a space by his closet. Um, I kind of photoshopped this picture right here to give him an idea of what it could look like. Um, and again, uh, the detail of what I'm about to do isn't that major compared to, let's say, this Photoshop picture. Um, but again, I wanted to have a little fun with it. So, um, saw a couple tattoos that I like that I showed him pictures of. He liked the gears and everything else. Oh, sorry. <sighs> Excuse me. All right, so, um, and again, I apologize. I believe most of these pictures were taken with an iPod. Um, so bear with me on the quality, but you'll get the logistics. So here is me taping off. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but you can kind of see me kind of sketching out what it could possibly look like. Um, here, what I did was on his big wall, uh, I took the logo of the monster drink. Um, I cut out some of this middle part, uh, made a decal, threw it on an old school projector, threw it on the wall. Um, he wanted a hole in the wall in the shape of the letter K for Caleb and uh, made a couple other spots. So here's another picture of like the inside of a robot, what it could look like. All right, so I got the painting. Um, Pre-sketched out some gear uh, looking items, colored in some black, used different grays. Um, again, here's the K, and some gears, some marks, some, you know, just general shapes. Nothing major, nothing that you identify with, but just, you know, looks like a bunch of junk in the wall. All right, here's another shot, uh, another shot on the other side. Here's the big wall again. Um, on this wall, I tried to make shapes that were consistent with the holes. So in some walls, you'll see uh, lines that will kind of cross over from hole to hole. Again, everything I did here was done with acrylic paint. Um, added some brackets in the corner because we were talking about giving like this old dirty crate look. Um, all right. So, let's see if I can do this. We'll add this frame here. All right, and then, let's see what we can do. Can we, uh, da, 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 open with a photo gallery. Let's see, can I open two pictures up at once? All right, here we go. All right, so here is a little before and a little after. So again, you'll see the general idea. I made some shapes here, um, colored in some black, came back and started making simple details. Lines, shapes, small, small boats, uh, bolts. Um, from there, you, you'll get the general idea. Again, no true concept, just kind of freestyling um, the theme of the room. All right, so let's see. We'll go back to his K. All right, again, um, you can see the beginning of the gear. Some of these other marks went back, 
added some detail, added some little nooks and crannies, some lines, some bolts. As you can see, it's all different here. Um, in some areas, I went back and made it a little darker, adding more black, taking away the um, taking away the shadows and highlights, depending on how I was approaching it. Um, let's see here. All right, so that's that hole in the wall. All right, whoop. All right, there you go. Here's another shot. Gears, coming back with more detail. Uh, again, no true concept or any drawings that we did ahead of time. This is all just kind of freehand sketch. And again, this is for, at the time, he was nine or 10. So, um, and I believe this was right around his birthday. So that's why some of these uh, concepts, they're, they're fairly simple, but you get the idea. All right, so that's the big section of the wall. Let's see. All right, again here, you'll see this is a little more cleaned up, a little more fine. Add some little rust shading in some areas, nothing major. And um, let's see. All right. Come back a little bit. All right, so as you can see, I went back and removed the tape. And... Um, Oh, I must have painted right over the line because I just now realize I I did that. Um, it's, it's been a while since I looked at these pictures because um, I see his room every day. Um, so what I'm going to do... All right. Let's see. We'll go to the K. All right. So after I removed all the blue tape, I went back here. Let's see. And I started adding some shading, um, adding some cracks in the wall to the sheetrock, trying to make it look like there's a hole in the wall. Again, here's some more shading, um, some cracks. And as you can see, trying to trim these edges out to give it more of a 3D look. Um, here, you'll see the same concept, another bracket on the wall, uh, more shading, couple cracks. Um, there is, there's that spot above the door. Uh, again, adding cracks uh, to wherever I just, again, no true concept, just just going with it. Uh, that was the small one. Let's see, do I have a, where is that shot at? All right, as you can see, same thing here. And there's the big one. All right, again, uh, kind of following the edges, adding highlights and low lights, keeping it simple with this. Sometimes the best detail is when you kind of add just a little bit and then you kind of fade it out. Uh, it really makes it pop once you go all the way around uh, these images. And let's see here. And there's this K again. Now what I did is I went back. Let's see. Okay, so that's the wall. Added detail. And then... Um, let's see. From there, I uh, did the wash on the wall, added a little bit more stain in these corners. Um, this is a glaze stain that you can get at Lowe's. Um, so once you start washing it and brushing it on here, it really, really looks good. Um, wanted the room to feel dirty, to feel like it had a bunch of holes. Um, this picture does not do it justice. Again, this was taken with the iPod. Um, but man, the streaks and the ugliness of these walls just came out beautifully. And I know that sounds like an oxymoron, but it did. Here you can kind of see the streaks and the glaze a little bit better. Um, adding cracks wherever along the wall. And uh, then there's his bed. Uh, I redid his headboard and the two tones of gray. I went and got him some new sheets. There's that bright orange that he had picked out earlier. There's another shot of his room. Um, Another shot between the door, there's his K and the other hole in the wall. And then there's his dresser. Um, obviously, I didn't even finish putting the handles on it when I uh, took this picture. But again, those two tones of the charcoal. Let's see. Let's see if we can zip this around. Da -da 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 -da. See, we come back. All right, so that is his dresser before and after. Um, here I made, uh, let's see, um, oh, what's it called? Um, 
man I'm trying to think of uh, basically I mixed a little plaster Paris with my paint to give this dresser a texture um, chalk paint god I was I can't believe I f totally forget what that word was chalk paint kind of made my own chalk paint um, to give this a texture uh, weathered look added his bright orange that he liked um, again that's the colors he picked out also did that to his shelf so there you go um, overall happy with this room my boy loved it it's a cool room it's a room that will stay cool f through his teen years you know there's no other room like it and um, there you go simple concept uh, just a lot of layers you know you, you, you do your shapes you go in you add some generic shapes uh, peel your tape add the cracks then you just do a wash and that is what I came up with so I hope you enjoy this video um, I love sometimes I wish all I did was paint kids rooms because this was such a blast and I just loved it loved it loved it and so did my boy so I hope you enjoyed this video um, you got any questions please hit me up but other than that thank you for your time be cool be safe always tie your shoes and uh, yeah live your passion peace <laughs>